Look at this picture. There is scientific evidence that when you look at this, or this, or this, there is probably one neuron, one cell in your brain, that is activated by all of those photos. This landmark paper studied eight people who had electrodes implanted into their brain, and those electrodes could record brain signals. When they showed them various photos of Jennifer Aniston, they found that there was one brain cell which fired. That's what brain cells do when they're active. But this brain cell did not fire when they were shown Kobe Bryant, or a spider, or a dolphin. They found another cell that was activated by Halle Berry, and Halle Berry dressed as Catwoman, but not someone else dressed as Catwoman. This all indicates that certain brain cells represent or encode specific things, like the identity of a person or an object. Unsurprisingly, most of these brain cells were located in areas associated with memory, like the hippocampus and the parahippocampal gyrus. Two things to consider here. First off, everyone's Jennifer Aniston neuron is different. If you know who Jennifer Aniston is, then you probably have a Jennifer Aniston neuron like this, but that one neuron is not located in the exact same place in everyone's brain. And second, there are probably several, maybe even hundreds of cells which encode information related to Jennifer Aniston, and this cell probably interacts with those cells. Brain's not quite simple enough where it's like one cell per one thing. Neuroscience can be pretty cool, so follow if you want to see more stuff like this.